we had a great day today. Oh, ah! sugar. He went to get a refrigerator. Oh, that looks good. I'll just go to run later. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, everybody, from sunny and beautiful Florida. Who do you spot back there? Oh, there's Ryan. Slept on the couch last night. So did Katie. She was right there, but she's now... Hi, Katie. Harry Potter. Harry Potter? Yeah. Which one? The first one. The first Harry Potter. Very good. All right, well, did you enjoy it? Yeah. I only watched about half the movie. It was really good. Why'd you only watch half? Because I fell asleep half the Oh, there. I see. He's still wearing what he wore yesterday on the airplane. Very mm -hmm. nice. Can I take a shower really quick? No, we're going over to Nana's for breakfast. And they're waiting on us. So we've got to go. You can brush your teeth, though. That would be a good thing. And when you get back, you can take a shower. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, well, hello, everybody, and good morning. We are in Florida. We came here last night. We are going to be here for the next few days. Um, Katie and Brennan, Katie and Ryan, I'm sorry, finished their first semester of school, and then they have Monday off, so we came down. And um, my sister's here, and her husband as well, my brother-in-law, and mom and dad are here. And then one of Ryan's friends is down here, my too. Oh, is he? Yeah. Sam, you guys know Sam, really, really curly hair, and his mom are down here too, so we're going to get a chance to hopefully see them. But first, we're going to start with Breakfast at Nana's, which is not quite Breakfast at Tiffany's. I, I know that's a movie. I have no idea what it's about, but Breakfast at, Nana, at Nana's is definitely better. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was about to say, if, you, like, if you're down playing Breakfast at Nana's, then I don't know. What to do. Not at all. It's great. As a matter of fact, today we're going to have um, dried chip. Chip, dried chip beef, if you guys know what that is. It might be just a Pennsylvania thing, I'm not sure, but it's like basically, instead of sausage and gravy, it's dried beef and gravy, and you put it over toast. It is so ridiculously good. It is not good for you at all, and I think it's very fattening, but it, it tastes good. so good, and I only ever eat it when mom makes it. Like, I've never eaten it out before. I don't know if you can order, even order it out, but I'll show it to you. It is beautifully wonderful. So stay tuned. We're going to go to Nance for breakfast. Pap's house and look at this. This is Pap's newest puzzle. Oh my gosh. That's wow. Hi, Hi Katie. Hey, Hi. Pap and Nan. Oh, yeah, Good morning, Nan. Good morning. Too. I told them all about dry beef and gravy. Oh, okay. So we're going to have to take a peek. This is what you guys, it's this is so what it is. It's so good. It is so good. It's so, it's have you had it so anywhere else ever? Yeah. No. No, but it's not good for you. You're right. Nobody else makes it. But exactly. Nan, <laughs> yeah, no, what oh, you yeah. got going there? What well, is that? Tom won't eat it. Well, this is my. Dried beef and gravy. So what's this? This? Yes. This Tell us what you're doing. Well, <laughs> I can. Nan needs, a, Nan needs a little help being a cooking chef. Yes, thank you. This stuff comes in a little package, and you open the package, and you. Um, okay. The stuff is dried beef. Dried beef, and then and then I cut it with my kitchen scissors into little pieces. Okay. And put it in here, and I cook it in butter and flour, and then I put half and half and whole oh, milk in it recipe. to make it a gravy. Wow. And then we serve it on toast. Half and half in whole milk to make the gravy and then we serve it on toast. But you put like salt and pepper in it, right? Because it's very, it's like the pepper in it is so good. Yes. Yeah. All right, you guys. So we'll see how this comes to fruition. Then we serve it over buttered toast. Michael John. So you don't get the blueberries um, and oh, and fruit salad. No, thanks. Are you, what's the matter? I want to eat a lot of fat. <laughs> oh, you can. It's really bad for you. I'll just go to run later. Okay. <laughs> Right, this is my brother-in-law, Tom. He's married to Wendy. He's Uncle Tom to Ryan and Katie. He is the biggest purveyor of cream chip beef. I'll come back. 
You're coming back? Okay, so Tom, what you got there? I just got one slice because I'm being considerate of those behind me. <laughs> okay. Do you hear well, that? Say so you were here alone. How many slices did you get? Tom, this is the bread. Thick sliced white. I like that. I yeah. like that too. Yeah. Mom, that would be really good for French toast. Yes, yes, it would. Yes. Oh, Tom. Agreed. Nice. Isn't that, isn't that? that looks so good. Oh, I'm so now, sorry. wait, is that a slotted spoon? It yeah. is a slotted spoon. Oh. I don't think we should have a slotted spoon. It's not a spur. Well, it's not a spurtle. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, Would you buy a spurtle? It's not a spurtle, Myrtle. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, that looks good. All right, we're back now at the house. We're working on the bunk beds. Katie's in there. Mike's in there. Um, Picasso has yeah. arrived. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Picasso. Yeah. And we are sanding and going to be painting the final coat on our bunk beds. They look great. Hi, Mom. Hi, Katie Kate. It's really dark in here. It Does it look dark? Yeah, the camera does. Why? Because, um, uh, well, Huh, maybe because there's there. no light in here. Oh my gosh, you can have the light on. This is, oh, this is better. Is that better? Yes, mom is steel wooling the bunk beds and I'm backing the bunk beds. Here's a little time lapse. to the uh, food store? The food store, but not to get food, because we're only here for a couple of days. He went to get a refrigerator. Oh, perfect. So we're going to try to put so a refrigerator. So we can store all the food we don't have. It, I'm yes. So, sorry, sorry. And drinks and that kind of thing. Because when we, you know, we're down and back and down and back, and when we leave, oftentimes, like, we put stuff in the freezer or whatever, but it's nice to always have cold drinks in the, in the refrigerator, and then more freezer space we need to. So anyway, so that's what, what, where he is and what he's doing. So we'll catch up on Katie painting. What are you guys doing today? Hope you're having a fabulous, fabulous day. There he is. How'd it go, Michael John? Did you get a refrigerator? That thing is better than a truck. <laughs> it is. Sure. How many things have we brought back now? With a lot the of stuff. Oh, Mike, that's great. Do you need help getting it out? Yes. All right. Have you decided where you're going to put it? I was just thinking about that. What do you think? Well, I'd like it to go on this side of the door, but there's not a plug, so I think it has to go on the other side of the door. Well, we can, uh, we can figure that out. Don't, we can? Don't I, I like being able to come out and turn right in. That's kind of utilitarian over there, and it, we, it wouldn't be running into the car and stuff. Yeah, agreed. And, they, and can we change the side of the Plus refrigerator? Plus, it would be behind the bar, which is good so for the bar. Exactly. That's where Mike puts his bar. If you haven't seen our video from New Year's, that's where Mike puts his bar. So anyway, so this is the thing. Um, my question is, can you change the side of the door? You can, right? I don't know. We can figure it out. Because it'd be best if we like could just walk out and open it. But if you have to walk the other side and open it, that's fine, too. It would take too. a lot longer. Like over a course of a year. And like that could be ready. like a week. Exactly. It would be terrible. Well, Let's congratulations. Let's do it. Right. Oh, I'm so excited. Katie's upstairs painting. All right. The kids are in here. Because they wanted to hang out together. Mom, yes? This baby roller is actually... Oh, is it working well? Much quicker 
Oh, good. All right then. Because I can just do one swipe. Of her. Like I can just be like, he. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, that oh, looks hey, guys. nice, Kate. <laughs> Perfect. That looks great. Thanks. Wow. It's much oh like easier. Just you know. Yeah. <laughs> I like the uh, sound effects. It's so, like I did the whole like thing. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. And the ceiling part. So now that I, so now I've done Just as do much as I can with this. Uh huh. Then I have to get the like this part. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And then I get that. Okay. And the top corner of then this. Then we can caulk all of those um, edges there Cre too. Creases, John. Yeah, John. Yeah, yeah there's totally do that. Lots of those. But then like. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Well, that looks a lot nicer than I thought it was gonna look painted like that. Like we might not need to do too much under there. Katie and I thought we might like do a beadboard or something under there to like, which is like sort of paneling long strips of wood, because I didn't think it was gonna be that pretty under there. But the paint actually looks really nice. That's actually not that bad. Right. Are you guys, I am pleased to announce that Katie and I finished the first round, first um, coat, I should say, of the painting. And I think it looks pretty darn good, I have to say. It might not even need a second coat, but for posterity, I think we should probably do a second coat just to make sure. But I am thrilled with the way that this is coming together. The room's a bit of a mess. We just got back from Nan and Pap's. We went over and had a little bit of dinner. The kids are watching. There's Katie. Did you wake up? Hi, Mommy. Hi, baby girl. Katie and Ryan, who both slept on the couch last night, because it's a humongous couch. Oh, you sleep watching. Is it scared? The first one. Is it scary? No, there's. It actually is scary. It is. It's Harry Potter. Cool. I'm gonna let you guys go. Oh my gosh, Mike and I just oh, got back no. from the hot tub. Whoa! So the, yes, so the kids were here watching Harry Potter. You watched number two. Okay, so we watched the second half of the second one, which was really oh, which was really good. And then I didn't want to start the third one because I don't like watching half a movie, and then like pausing it, and then so. But Katie convinced me too, and now we're watching the third one. So, the Prisoner of Azkaban. The trip, yeah, the, the pr Prisoner of Azkaban, which Katie says is really good. Yes, I've never seen it before, and so far it's excellent. I would say we're twenty minutes in. Would you say we're twenty minutes in? Uh, twenty five minutes in. Twenty five minutes in. It's very good so far. Um, but I'm going to share what made me happy today. We had a great day today. It was mostly work, a little bit of fun. Um, we made it to the pool. I don't know if we mentioned that, but we made it to the pool in the middle. Ryan went golfing, but we got a lot of, um, the, the bunk beds painted. Katie, did you take a look at them? Because I don't think they really need a full second coat. Maybe just a touch up here and there, but they look great. From here, they look really nice, actually, yeah. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with those. Yeah, I don't think the underside needs second coat. Do you? No, well, that was the hard part. Yeah, I <laughs> hurt my neck. Yeah, I don't think that needs to. Especially because we might do something different with it in the future. But right, 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 right. All right, so what made me happy today definitely was a huge amount of work getting done on the bunk beds because that's been a project for I a liked, very long time. I liked helping Mommy with the bunk beds. You did. You did a very nice job helping me. Thank you. And I liked hanging out with you at the pool. That was fun. We, was good but, oh, we were in the hot tub, Katie and I. We made a good plan for in a couple of days. We'll have to share it with Ryan. Mm -hmm. we, what we might do in a couple of days. Right? Yeah, it's Kate, really exciting. Ragga, what made you happy today? Um, what made me happy today was golfing and hitting the driving range and doing some schoolwork and watching Harry Potter with Katie. Because at the beginning of the trip, I said to Katie, I'm not a Harry Potter guy, but I actually am now watching these it's first cool. two. And I'm really excited because there's like eight of them. And I'm so excited. <laughs> anyway, compliment you guys have a day. We'll see you tomorrow. Actually, it already is tomorrow. So we'll see you in a few hours. Bye. Peace. What do you mean? Ah, we should keep this in. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.